Today marks the first day of something truly awesome or something devastating which will leave me to cry in the corner but we, we are going to see how this turns out. So this is the stack 2.0 case that Nuvolo sent along a long time ago and it is it is an interesting case mini ITX we got a lot of mesh going on we also have the tempered glass side panels for both sides we can stack it up you know stack stack it up but this is not the main topic the main topic is what's inside of this box because back then when Nuvolo sent this along they also had a little additional product. What this is, is a water block pump combo specifically built for ITX purposes, preferably using their own case. Now this, I, I can just see, this is like a, an assembly kit where you need to put all of this stuff together yourself. We, we got the cold plate as a piece. It's going to be interesting to put this together, but back then Nuvolo kindly asked us if we are going to build a water-cooled PC inside of the stack 2 or inside of any other case that they send along using this water block. I told them yes, but I don't know when. Well, now is the time. So let's put together not the most amazing gaming PC in a mini ITX case, but a amazing gaming PC. But let's walk through the components. It's going to be quite complicated. As a side note, this PC is not going to be uh, disassembled immediately after I'm finished with the video. It is going to be my new gaming PC at home. So I wanted to use some older parts and some parts that I don't need anymore and yeah, somewhere find a middle ground there. So I wanted to give my 5800X3D a last good purpose. So it's going to go in there and a bit unfortunately, but the only mini ITX motherboard for AM4 that I do have is this ASRock B550M ITX AC. Now it has one very big advantage and that's basically Wi-Fi. That's like the only advantage that it has because it's not like particularly beautiful or anything. There, there is nothing going on, but it will do the job. Now for the GPU that we are going to use, um, I'm not quite happy with my choice, but I kind of don't have a real choice here. So I can't use any 40 series cards because I don't have any water blocks for them. And I could have gone for a 3060, which I don't want to do. I could have gone for a 2080 Ti, which I also don't want to do because it's just a bit too much energy for the FPS that I will get out of there. And the best choice that I have is my RDX 3070 Vision from Gigabyte, where I have a water block. But the reason I'm going for this one is not necessarily the card or the 3070 or it being a 3070, but because, yeah, the bearing is, is done. Uh, the center fan, for some reason, the other two, the left and right are fine, but the center fan is, it is spinning, but it is wobbling and it creates horrible noise. So as soon as the card starts to spin, it's, it's no, I, I can't handle that. Which is why this is the perfect candidate to be a water cool GPU permanently. Now, one issue that we are going to face with all of this is back then when I de water cooled this card, yeah, I didn't put everything back in the box as nicely as I should have. So, A, these cables are just like cut through, which is going to be interesting how we are going to solve that. And I don't have all of the thermal pads. So what I'm hoping is that I can use the th thermal pads or the original thermal pads that are still on the card and, and somehow navigate my way through that issue that way. We are going to see that. Now let's get to the interesting part. How much cooling are we going to fit into this? I have no freaking clue. I have purchased a button of things. We have two 240 millimeter alpha cool radiators ready. One is a Nexus ST25, so 25 millimeter thickness, which is this one. And the other one is an ST30, so 30 millimeter thickness. For the FBI, I have no freaking clue right now because alpha box doesn't write it on the box, but uh, I guess this should do. So my best case scenario for this whole series is to somehow fit, fit these two into here. How? I have no clue. And the next issue I have is 
reservoir. Are we going to get a reservoir in there? Probably not, but we are going to see that. So, as you can already see, fitting two rats in there is just not a possibility out of the box. However, for this case, Nuvolo has these expansion packs, these stack packs, where you can basically uplift the case by 30 centimeters, 30 centimeters, by 30 millimeters, or add another 30 millimeters in the top. And that's basically what I hope will save me here, that although this is not specifically meant to add custom radiators and custom water cooling into this case, I, I hope that I can uplift the case by a degree where we can fit multiple reds in there. We are going to see, I have no clue, I haven't measured anything, this is a, uh, yeah, we, we are going to see how it goes along. For the fans, in the worst case scenario I have these Arctic P12 Slims from, from Arctic, obviously, and these are like 50 millimeters thick. Uh, they will do, hopefully they will do. In the case that I have more space left, let's say the uh, 30 millimeters that I added, plus what we already had, plus the difference between the 30 and the radiator will allow me to slap in a regular fan. I am going to slap in a regular fan. I can guarantee you that. This is a worst case scenario. I hope that I don't have to go this route, but in case that I do, I have the fans. Yeah, I think everything has been said. This is the goal. I have no clue how I'm going to do it. I have no clue how long it will take. I don't even have a clue if all of this will fit. I have no clue if the radiators will go in. This is going to be an interesting one, but uh, as for preparations, I have not done a lot. The only thing I have done this morning is update the BIOS on the motherboard to be sure that the 15800X3D uh, boots up and it does, so everything is fine. And I guess for today, the one thing that I need to do, or the one thing that I wanted to do, is water cool the G or the re water cool the GPU and just hope that it that it works. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. I do not even remember how to take this cord apart or how to put it together. Yeah, let's just unscrew a couple of things here. That can go wrong. Is the top coming up? Ah, not this hard. But hey, it worked. Okay. Uh, these here. Here. Ta -da. Now, one thing that I will need to do, unfortunately, is leave this on. Uh, as I told you, or as I showed you, uh, whatever happened to these cables here, I'm sure I had a reason to cut them off. I'm sure I had, but I don't remember the reason, nor will I ever find it out. So my idea to solve this issue is to basically leave this 8 plus 6 adapter that Gigabyte already installed on the base card and just repurpose that one and then somehow later on hide it inside of the of the case. We, I'm sure we will manage to do that somehow. Okay, now let's clean the card and then somehow apply thermal pads which I don't have. Yeah, this should do it. Okay, so based on where we had thermal pads on the original card, this needs to be cooled, this down here needs to be cooled, and the disclaimer, do not do this, use the thermal pads included with your water block. I am doing this because of a lack of alternatives. Then let's steal the ones from here, like that. And oh yeah, there is a real possibility that the thermal pads that I am repurposing right now are the ones from the water block. I, I don't remember what I did whenever I, I, I took this apart. Now these here, which are very thin, so I need to make sure to not rip them apart. Oh god. No, I ripped this one off. <sighs> Can't I just splash some thermal paste on these? That would be so much easier. Yeah, let's, let's repurpose these. Yeah, that will do. And this will do. I just need for these three here. I know how stupid this is. I do know that. I know that most of them have different thicknesses and all. 
I'm just hoping that once I put the water box back on that I can squish everything so much together that it will just somehow make contact. And all of them are used and dirty and so... Okay, I believe at this point we have thermal pads on everything or almost anything that needs thermal pad. These here need some more. This thing needs some. Yeah, that should be all. One last onto here. Okay, I guess now everything has thermal pads. Let's just hope for the best. I forgot some up here. You will get some sort of thermal pad and you will get some sort of thermal pad. Okay, now I can see these here do not need thermal pads. For fuck's sake. Much better. Whew, the GPU and GPU water block are assembled now. Now I have no clue. Let's push this up a bit. Now I have no clue how this will turn out in the end. I have used different thicknesses of thermal pads, which is like the most stupidest thing you can do. I just don't know. That's that's the, the big point here and I had I don't have any alternative so I guess we are going to somehow eyeball this and then just hope for the best yeah the board seems straight so I, I don't see like a big issue there but we are going to find out once the um, PC is booted up and we are going to look for any hotspot temperatures that's like the best thing I can do at this point because I will never find out or I would have to contact Bixki which thicknesses of thermal pads to use there then get them somehow and, and that's just we are going to try it like this and if this fails take the gpu out buy a bunch of thermal pads redo everything again or this part but for this series I, I think we are going to try this way first but for today we are going to leave it here next time we are going to stack up the case and have a look at the radiator fan situation if we can fit the radiators if we can fit anything additional we are going to see that in the next video but until then i hope you enjoyed it and please don't go too hard on me for this i know do not do this 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 was a stupid idea use the original thermal pads but okay hope to see you in the next one bye bye